Good morning and welcome to the morning coffee with John Plassard. Today I'm focusing on obesity. The coronavirus confinement has had many effects economic and psychological to be sure, but also on our weight. This is not at all surprising. Between all the eating and the decrease in physical activity, people under lockdown really put a strain on their scales. This is not an issue to be taken lightly, however. In the United States, just to take one example, a significant number of people were already overweight before the pandemic. According to the statistic, about 22% of Americans say they gained between 2 and 4.5 kilos during the lockdown. Just before the emergence of coronavirus, the U.S. Center of Disease Control, so the CDC, in agreement with the government, published a study according to which more than 4 in 10 American adults were obese and that 1 in 10 were sever severely obese. Obesity is a real global crisis, but it is especially serious in the United States. An OECD report shows how much weight gain cost health system around the world. Obese people are prescribed 2.4 times more drugs on average than people of normal weight, while their hospital stays are longer and require more expensive and more complex treatment. Obese people tend to use health services more frequently with a higher rate of specialist care visit hospitalization and surgery, resulting in higher healthcare spending. In a country where all trends can be monetized, investors are already taking advantage of the latest surge in obesity. The Solactive Obesity Index is up 74% from the lows of 2020, compared to 54% for the S&P 500. The Obesity Index has even surpassed the performance of the Nasdaq, plus 64%. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Read my morning and keep on winning.